fracking under the South Downs will not cause a problem, according to the Energy and Climate Change Secretary Amber Rudd. The MP for Hastings and Wye also said that the new ways to provide power need to be put in place in order to ensure our energy security. Well, the energy, energy Secretary's comments have been criticised by Green campaigners who say her views are alarming. Our environment correspondent has this exclusive report. Taking a lesson in keeping our lights on, Energy Secretary Amber Rudd braved the heights of a low-voltage pylon when she joined apprentices on a visit to the UK Power Network's regional training base. But at the heart of the matter is our energy security, and she sees new gas plants like this one on the Isle of Grain as an important ingredient in our energy mix. And to the dismay of environmentalists, she sees nothing wrong in fracking for gas or oil under our national parks and triple SIs. We are absolutely committed and sticking to no fracking at the surface area of these areas. But if you go so far as you're under 1,200 metres underneath them, nobody will notice it's taking place. Homegrown gas, what a great thing to be able to extract in a safe way and yet maintaining the top of the area, the parks, the beautiful parks, the triple SIs. That's what we're trying to do. The way it would work for the South Downs National Park, for example, is any drilling down would be done outside the park, but then it could turn to horizontal shafts underneath. And it comes just a year after the Energy Secretary said there would be no fracking under our national parks. It's not just our concerns, it's concerns that we have alongside villagers who live in, uh, in the countryside that have been asking us for help. And they are concerned about things like um, the underground... Um, possibility of contamination of water, um, also air and noise pollution and particularly traffic, heavy goods vehicles, more lorries in, in the countryside and going through quiet villages. And some experts believe the government is treading a hazardous path. The government seems to be opting for what seem to me rather high risk strategies, particularly fracking and nuclear power, both of which will be strongly uh, opposed wherever they are introduced. So I think uh, if we look at the nuclear option, for example, uh, this was proposed in 2005 with the expectation we would have first power in 2017. It now appears we won't get first power at best before 2025. Amber Rudd's visit did go down well locally, though. She was interested in how the power workers manage in bad weather, but she herself may have a more stormy ride over our electricity supply in the coming years. Uh, well, Yvette is with me in the studio now. And Yvette, as well as her views on fracking, you also spoke to Amber Rudd about um, energy security in the South East. Well, yes, looking 10 years into the future, all of the country's coal plants will have closed down. Currently, they supply around 30% of our electricity. And already in the South East, we've seen three major oil and coal plants close Kings North, Grain, and Littlebrook. And the Energy Secretary said it's very important that we replace that reliable baseload. And she's looking towards gas although she didn't say when or where those new gas-fired plants will be built, which is an interesting point, because back in the 90s, you may remember the dash for gas, there were lots of gas plants built but then, and very little investment went into developing renewables. And so I asked her, I said, well, why cut the subsidy for solar now, which has been an issue in the southeast, lots of solar uh, plants going up, but she said it's right that the, su the subsidies have been reduced because the costs for solar have come down and so the subsidy should come down too. She wants lower bills for us. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, the time now is just...